This week, we have a couple revisions to some SparkFun Classic widgets, and we also have a brand new IoT starter kit. So without further ado, let's jump in. This is your Friday new product post at SparkFun. The Microsoft Azure IoT Starter Pack is a kit of parts based around our ESP8266 Thing Dev Board, and it allows you to very quickly and easily get the ESP8266 up and running to post data to a remote application that's deployed on your Microsoft Azure server. The kit includes a few sensors and some parts to get you started. There's a packet of jumper wires, a packet of LEDs, a photoresistor, the DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor, a couple packs of resistors, a breadboard to hook it all up, and of course, the ESP8266 Thing Dev Board. Getting the Thing Dev Board up and running on the Azure IoT suite is actually pretty straightforward, and there's some really good documentation on the Microsoft site. Here I've prepared the first demo from the kit, which is simply the DHT22 hooked up to the Thing Dev Board, posting the humidity and temperature data directly to an app that I've deployed on Azure. Here I have the IoT device portal open, and you can see on the right hand side of the screen that there's a graph, and it's updating constantly with new values from my DHT22. As long as it's connected to the internet, the thing can be anywhere in the world, and I can be anywhere else looking at the site and always get these updates. After I had installed all the necessary libraries and made sure that my Arduino IDE was up to date, getting the hardware set up was pretty straightforward. All I had to do was load the IoT suite, click Create a New Solution, and then select Remote Monitoring. Once I had named my solution, it was just a few mouse clicks from there before the whole thing was provisioned and running on my Azure server. The capabilities of the Microsoft Azure IoT suite go way beyond what I covered in this demo. And if you're interested in creating IoT solutions that are connected to big data and able to do some serious number crunching, then the Microsoft Azure IoT Starter Pack is a great way to get started with that. The YoYo OTG is a product that we've carried for a while now, and it's one of the best ways to build peripherals for your Android device. It essentially allows you to create Java programs that run on your Android or your Windows PC that have access to all of the low-level peripherals that you'd expect from a microcontroller dev kit, like the Arduino or something like that. This time around, we made a few changes to make them easier to manufacture, but we've also solved a problem that some people were complaining about on version 21. Apparently, in rare cases where you were using a long power cable at voltages towards the upper limit of what the yo-yo is designed for, you could cause the yo-yo to fail. And that's because of power spikes. Now, we've added a few components in the power regulation circuit to help suppress those power spikes. If you're curious about how we tracked this problem down and how it got solved, engineer Pete Lewis wrote a really great blog post all about it, and we'll put the link in the description. Finally, we have a revision to the SparkFun open log. The open log is a really cool product we've carried for a long time, and it allows you to really easily log data to a micro SD card. It's a tiny, tiny little board, and it incorporates really easily into all your projects. On the firmware side, we've changed it so that we're no longer logging the escape sequence, so you don't have that showing up in your logged data and clogging things up. We've also increased the RX buffer for better high-speed logging performance. And, of course, we've updated it to compile under the latest version of Arduino. On the hardware side, we've added labels to the reverse face of the board, which makes it easier to wire up because you don't have to keep flipping the board back and forth to see what you're soldering to. And we've improved the voltage regulation circuit by adding a few passives that we were missing in the last rev.